مملكة البحرين مزار سياحي هام يقصده السياح من جميع أنحاء العالم لما تتميز به من مشاهد خلابة وبيئة بحرية رائعة تجذب محبي السياحة البحرية ولا عجب في ذلك فهي تتكون من أرخبيل من الجزر يصل عددها إلى 33 جزيرة تم ربطها ببعضها عن طريق الجسور والردميات إلا أنه بقيت جزيرة واحدة لم يتم ربطها بداخل الجزر لسبب هام ما هي هذه الجزيرة التي لم يتم ربطها بالجسور مع باقي شقيقاتها من جزر البحرين ولماذا أصبحت هذه الجزيرة إحدى المزارات السياحية الهامة وقبلة للسياح الذين يفيدون إلى البلاد إنها جزيرة قطعة جرادة صباح النور باسل الراضي صاحب شركة فانتسي جرادة توز وهي الشركة موقعها وين بالضبط؟ داخل النادي البحري طبعا الاجانب هو اكثر اقبال عندنا الاقبال الاجانب الاجانب ما يوقفون صيف والشتاء يطلعون بحر ما عندهم البحر بارد ولا البحر حار او الشمس او غيره لا يستمتعون في البحر من كل في كل الفصول العرب بعد نفس الشيء تقريبا بس اكثر شيء يفضلون الفترات اللي يكون الجو معتدل ما بين صيف والشتاء الصيف وايد يأذيهم والشتاء وايد يأذيهم ف... يعني حاليا احنا في قطعه جراده في داخل البحرين قريبه من حدود قطر في الشمال الشرقي وكيف تكون يعني انا سمعت هي ما تكون دائما باينه على الارض كيف تكون يعني مواسم المد والجسر طبعا كل يوم عندنا ست ساعات مد ست ساعات جزر ست ساعات مد ست ساعات جزر ويوميا تختلف في نص ساعه او اكثر او اقل على حسب الموسم الشتاء غير الصيف غير فذي الجزيرة إذا سقت الماية فوق المد يغطي الجزيرة تقريبا متر إلى متر ونص فترة الجزر نقدر نشوف الجزيرة كلها طالعة واضحة عندنا زيك زاق نمشي فيها جزيرة رئيسية هنا اللي طالعة أكثر شيء بعدين زيك زاق اللي فيها طبعا جزيرة يعني احيانا اللي جزيرة هني عندنا بس قطعة صغيرة مترين في مترين اللي هي اعلى شيء في الجزيرة في البداية آه يم علامة الجزيرة آه فتكون مكان مناسب حلو حق الباربيكيو حق السباحة بيكون احلى حق السباحة لان الرمل راح يكون انعم اللي فوق الرمل راح يكون موجود للسباحة واحيانا تكون واضحة كاملة الزيكزاق في الجزيرة فتقدرون تمشون عليها تقريبا كيلو كامل متواصل لنهاية الجزيرة. وهاي الجزيرة مع انها بعيدة بس كيف يكون عليها الاقبال؟ طبعا تبعد جزيرة جرادة او مو بجزيرة هي قطعة جرادة تبعد 22 تقريبا 22 كيلو متر من اجرب نقطة من البحرين. آه، الاقبال في الويكند في اليوم الجمعة شوي الاقبال زيادة آه، الايام العادية او السبت اقل شوي الايام العادية اقل آه، في ناس تفضل الايام العادية بحيث انها تكون اقل ناس اقل آه، زحمة اقل شوي عشان ريلاكس الناس يريحون هنا شوي الايام المناسبات مثلا ايام العيد اللي فاتها وعيد الفطر بعدها عيد الاضحى آه، كانت ذي قطعة جرادة ما فيها مكان واحد يوقف فيها بالجزيرة لازم ياخذ الـ 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 اللاين الأبعد أو البارك الأبعد فكانوا صفات يوقفون البوتس واللي يجي من الصبح يقدر يحصل بارك على الجزيرة اللي ما يصف ورا, ورا البوتس الثانية. زين بهاي الكم الهائل اللي يجون في المناسبات يعني شنو المميز بهالجزيرة؟ يعني احنا مو شايفين غير قطعة الأرض، شنو الشيء اللي يحبه الناس اللي يجون عليها؟ أولاً هي شيء بعيد يعني الناس تحب تطلع بحر تروح شيء يعني 
كنا مسافره اللوادم فيطلعون يروحون شيء مكان بعيد ثانيا ذي انا اسميها مال ديب مال مالت البحرين الرمل وايد ناعم ما نحصل بيتش في البحرين او ماي صافي في البحرين مثل ذي ذي المنطقه او الماي اللي نشوفه حوالينا او الرمل اللي نشوفه حوالينا مكان بعيد ما نشوف البحرين ما نشوف الشيء قدامنا غير البحر بحر ورمل ناعم ما فيها ما فيها فاسيلتيز حمامات او مطاعم او غيره بس هي كذي حلاوتها كذي طبيعه و وتنظف روحها بروحها يعني كل كل ما يا المد غسل الجزيره وردت جديده انت جاوبتني يعني على السؤال كنت بسأل عقبه ان بمناسبه ان يعني اي مكان كذا يطلع في البحرين يكون الناس نفس جزر الدار تنظمه وتخلي في اماكن نفس حمامات او مطاعم او شيء هاي الجزيره هل انتم تفضلون ك شركات ان دائما الناس تحب تجي عليها وتطلبكم من تجيبونهم هنا هل تحبون ان يكون هذا مقام على الجزيره ام تفضلون ان الجزيره تستمر نفس ما هي ان ما في شيء عليها يعني حلاوه القطعه في طبيعتها يعني مثل ما الناس يحبون يروحون صغير يحطون خيامهم وبدون فاسيلتيز بدون شيء بدون مطاعم بدون يعني اشياء بسيطه تكون موجوده نفس الشيء في البحر بعد يعني الناس يحبون يروحون في الاشياء الطبيعيه ما فيها مباني ما فيها شيء مكان خالي مكان فاضي بس رمل وماي و والناس اللي يشون واللي يقعدون واللي الجيتسكيز اللي يلعبون في الجيتسكيز او البنانا او اليوتيوب او غيره ف يعني شيء طبيعي مو بشيء مدني مو بشيء مدني مو بشيء يعني ساعات الواحد يحس انه هو يبي يرد للطبيعه يبي يرد للاشياء البسيطه مو بالاشياء المعقده والاشياء الناس هنا لما تجي يعني دائما يكونون متفاعلين مع بعض هل يشاركون الوقت ولا تحصل كل واحد على جهه غير الثانيه؟ البحرين صغيرة يعني إذا عادة إذا واحد أو معظم الناس اللي يجون أو اللي يترددون يعني يتكررون وايد ف يعني إذا تلاقي في الأيام اللي تكون وايد زحمة القطعة تشوفين ذي عرف ذي وذي عرف ذي وذي سولف ذي أو مثلا ذي ناس يشوون الأكل إذا استوى الأكل يعطون الناس اللي يومهم أو 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 فالمكان حلو يعني الناس ما عندنا هنا اذا اذا بنشوف ما في امن او شرطه او شيء بس يعني انا عمري ما شفت ناس متاشين مع ناس او مشاكل او يعني ناس يقول ريلاكس ووايد يعني متعاونين مع بعض Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Hey. Yeah, I know your name, please. My name is Claudia. Manfred. Manfred, you're her dad, right? Yes, <laughs> I'm your uh, her father. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, where are you usually from? Germany. We have Germany. Alone in Germany. And you're doing here what? I'm working here in a hotel in Bahrain since five months now. Oh, so you're still fresh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what about your dad? Is he working here or is just vacation? I make vacation. Just vacation, just have fun. Um, coming from German to Bahrain is a whole other different culture and world and the atmosphere and the weather and everything. How did you cope up with all that? Well, I've been to Beijing before, so Bahrain is really like seven heaven for me. <laughs> it's it's amazing. I love the weather. People are very friendly, I have to say. You know, in Germany, sometimes you hear this and that about Middle East, and this is my first stop here in Middle East, yeah. and I love it. Yeah. yeah. I do. And now you got your dad to have a round about Bahrain. He told me a little bit about the round. Can you tell me again how did you take yesterday around Bahrain? <laughs> yes, uh, yesterday we were around the island. We have seen the race circuit and then the horse uh, race circuit yes. <laughs> and uh, the tree of life. That's clear. Yes. Did you take pictures with us? <laughs> yeah. I took pictures and uh, pictures and pictures. Yes. That's clear, but uh, 
yesterday evening, what have we done? Football. We went to Bahrain against Malaysia and they won. <laughs> in the in the in the stand itself. In the stadium. In the stadium. Yes. Wow. You like football? Yes. What's your favorite team? I have, uh, played football in Germany. Uh, very, very strong. Yes. So we're talking to an older player, huh? <laughs> you cannot, uh, uh, you cannot see the parallels uh, from uh, this football and the European football. But it's uh, a very nice match. It was a nice match and with the right winner. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Bahrain did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, despite you're taking your dad around Bahrain for, you know, tourism and all, you personally living here, working here, um, how do you spend your weekends or your vacations, long ones? Well, it's it always depends, but we try to get out at least once for boating to this perfect island. And it's so nice, you know, we always say like, well, it's the clearest island we know, because, you know, it goes and it comes back and it's very clean. But... Um, yeah, we are going out sometimes in the evenings, and there's a lot to do, and I really like that Bahrain is so small, you know, you don't have to, too many options, yeah. so you can choose very easy where you want to go. <laughs> do you go like restaurants or coffee shops or malls? Uh, yeah, exactly. What about Formula One? I mean, you haven't, have you heard about it that this happens in Bahrain? I mean, you took your dad to the circuit, so you like speeding cars, huh? Yeah, and my sister yesterday, she was like, well, buy tickets for us for next year, you have to, we are coming. <laughs> So we'll see you in the formula then. Well, I'm really glad you're having fun here and I hope you spend more good months here, working days and vacation days. And you have eight days left? Eight days uh, um, in the future, yes. Yeah, the coming days. Well, the ten, uh, ten days, ten days, yes. Well, I hope you like here and you always bring him back here and you enjoy your time. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Thank you very much for your time. The people Thank is polite <laughs> and uh, I think I'm I have to very content. Yes. Yes. You'll come back. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Can you know your names, please? Peter. And Joanne. Peter and Joanne, uh, where are you originally from? Um, originally from the UK and then New Zealand. UK and New Zealand? Half half? When New Zealand. Because oh. when New Zealand says we migrated to New Zealand. Oh, okay. And how long have you been in Bahrain? Five years this time, and we did five years um, previously in about 2000. So you've been here, you left, and then you came back again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you've seen Bahrain before and after. How did that differ? What was the difference between then and now? It was a huge change, actually, um, especially the the buildings and the structure, because um, we saw quite a growth in the uh, the architecture and the road system. It changed quite a lot. Yeah, it's had a lot of buildings went up, and especially the shopping malls. Yeah. Yeah, city centre and Wahoo. So plenty of things to do in there. Been to the forts. Um, I've been down to the Alarine Wildlife Park, which I love. Take some sandwiches down there. Um, mostly uh, walking uh, around the um, beaches and um, then out here. This is our third time out to Gerada. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. May I know your name, please? My name is Eric. Eric, do you live here, Eric? Yes, I do live in Bahrain. But you're originally from? From France. Ah, bonjour. No. <laughs> oh, bonjour, I'm sorry. Bonjour. It doesn't <laughs> bonjour. Well, Eric, um, do you live here as a vacation-wise or work? No, I do. I work in Bahrain. And how many years have you been working here? I've been there for six years. Six years, so a bit long time to know everything about Bahrain, yeah? Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
What's the thing that keeps you staying here all these years? But work, of course. <laughs> but the work. Well, the, the people as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the work is interesting, but people are nice as well. So that's what makes it more interesting. Yeah. What about the atmospheres or the weather or the culture? I mean, you come from France, it's a whole different culture and weather. How did you cope up with the heat? Oh, the heat was a, a big shock initially, <laughs> but then you get used to it. And uh, what was a big shock was that uh, I get uh, blue fingers in the office, you know, because it was so cold in the office. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to, uh, to put a jacket on. <laughs> With the ACs and everything, you're not used to the ACs. Exactly, yeah, that, that was a big surprise as well. Yeah. Okay. What about, um, despite work and a uh, hard day all day, where do you relax at night or weekends generally? Uh, I spend most, most of my time with the family, okay, I do some sports, mm -hmm. got nice, nice infrastructure in Bahrain, so that's always good. And uh, on the weekend I'm, uh, I like to, to come here, because it's a very nice spot. You're not the first time here? Yeah? No, no, we like, we like to come here. And how did you hear about this island? Uh, with friends, you know, chatting with people. And, and uh, what's, what's so interesting to make you come back every time here? Well, first is the spot because you know it's a, it's a sun, you get the beach, you know, and then the other thing is that the sharing yeah. because you know I've got uh, just a gentleman here give us some uh, some chicken to share. We've got you know we've got little thing that uh, you're going to try as well. So you know you're most welcome. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> um, what about outside beaches? I mean, uh, the weather is getting a little bit colder. The winter is coming. How do you spend your evenings or your weekends? Do you go to restaurants? Do you have a special areas to spend your time with family or like single with your friends or? Your wife, of course. Well, it's, it's, it's a mix, you know, we've got many, many friends, so it's always nice to be with them, um, you know, spending time with the family as well. And my wife is a good cook, so we, we do have some people coming as well. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Well, I'm coming next time to your wife to taste her food. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoy your day here right now. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, boys and girls. How do you do? It's fine, fine, yeah, thanks. Hi. Well, they told me, Natalie, you're come for a vacation, that's correct? Uh, yes, exactly. I came for a week to visit my friend uh, Astrid, who lives here. And where are you originally from? Uh, France. It's really cold in France, so it's better here. Yeah. Coming to the beach and to weather, I mean, it's a little bit cold now, but originally it's very hot. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, I liked it. Uh, during the summer it could have been too hot for me, <laughs> so now it's just perfect for me. The weather is alright. What about the rest of you? Are they all from you France? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> me, I'm born in Bahrain, but uh, I lived uh, in Bahrain, so I make my, my study in France. And uh, yeah, so I come back in Bahrain. So yeah. you're French, but you were born here? Yeah, and my parents is more than 30 years living in Bahrain. So. Wow. Being and living in Bahrain, knowing everywhere, where are you taking them around Bahrain? Uh, I, I first when the, I show the people in Bahrain, is I bring them to the desert to make them uh, show the real uh, the, old, the old uh, place in Bahrain yes. and the souk, the Bahrain fish markets. That's awesome. What about you? What's your name? Nadia. Nadia. That's a very Arabic name. Are you Arabic? Oh no, <laughs> and I'm a Arab Oh, that's that's obvious. You don't know. I'm Mexican. Mexican, wow, hola. Mexican in Bahrain, hola. No, no, don't worry, there's a lot of Mexicans, I know, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Um, coming to Bahrain, you coming for work or just vacation as well? Uh, work. work. What do you work? Bushido. Well, I was in Qatar before, so I'm really used to the Middle East, and working here in Bahrain is awesome, really, I, I love it. Yeah, I've been here already like three weeks only. <laughs> well, only three weeks, huh? So, three, yeah. No, no, no. So, only three weeks in Bahrain? Yeah. Uh, yes, hi, my name is uh, Astrid. Astrid, do you live here or your vacation as well? No, no, I live here. How long have you been living here? Six years. Wow, so a long time. You've been around all Bahrain. Yeah, yeah pretty good. <laughs> You've been working here? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Where do you work? I work for a pharmaceutical company. Ah, uh, well, this is a pretty awesome place to spend some time, actually. I live in Amouage, so I have to stay, I, uh, to say I stay pretty much in Amouage. But it's, uh, you know, it's just chilled, you know, so you just relax. It's, it's nice. It's cool. I've been living here since 10 years, since uh, I came here in Feb 2000, uh, no, 1993. Wow, so you've been... A, no, sorry, 2003. <laughs> That's 20 years! Yeah, 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 20 years, like, no, in uh, 2003. 
yeah. and three. And you've been uh, there, uh, Lebanese, Le- Lebanon before? No, I'm, I'm Lebanese born, I'm 100% Lebanese, but I made my studies in France and I was working in France. It's how I came to Bahrain, it was a French company. Okay, and working here, coming from France as well, like them, did you find it a difficult, did you like it? How was different for you? Uh, tell you the truth, before coming, I didn't know much about Bahrain in 2003 because we didn't have the Formula One. Uh, and <laughs> I didn't have any expectation, but I was just going to discover. And it has been wonderful 10 years. I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here and very, very happy to have made this step coming to Bahrain. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I know your name, please? Tarek. Tarek, okay, you live here? Oh, where are you originally from, basically? I'm uh, Moroccan and French. Oh, okay, and you live here since? Mm, five years now. Five years, wow. So you're based uh, for work? Yes. <laughs> well, seeing with you, the kids and the family and everything, um, what's the thing that made you come back, like come and live in Bahrain and bring all your family back here? Well, um, I got a, an opportunity to come and work here. And then uh, we just take the decision to come in a country that we didn't know at all. <laughs> and then that was a very good surprise, a very good country, very nice country. So, uh, yeah, so now it's now more than five years we're here, so that we are really enjoying it. Yeah. What about the school for the kids and everything? Was it um, peaceful? Was it um, easy to handle with? Or No, no, it was easy because actually there is a French school. Mm-hmm. And as we are French, so it was easy to, to, to put our children to the French school. But even my, my youngest daughter is going to an English school. So really schools here, are, um, it's very easy. So you Fran- have the varieties of English or French schools? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That was very nice, yes. What about the... Vacations or holidays, the weekends, where do you enjoy your time with your family or you and your wife alone? Well, it's a mix between the family and uh, with my wife uh, alone. So during the evening, we go to some restaurant with my wife. But during the, the day, we go to the, to the swimming pools, to the sports clubs. So, so we go and walk together, run together. So taking the children to, to sports. So that's, that's what we do normally during the weekend. Yeah, so just like chilling with the kids and everything. <laughs> exactly, that's the kind of thing we like. And then today, that's the first time, actually my first time coming here to that island. So I, I, I heard about that island uh, so much. So I say, I, you know, before I leave this island, I don't want to go uh, stupid. Some people will tell me, do you know this? Oh, no, I've not ever done it. <laughs> so at least I can say I did it now. That was actually, I was going to ask you about this, about the island. I mean, Garad's Island, um, it's a very, uh, well... It's a very unique island for coming, uh, being only land, yet people love it so much and they come all around Bahrain to come and, and just park here, enjoy their time on the beach. Um, so this is your first time here. How did you hear about it? Like just friends? Yes, yeah, my friends, you know, they have a boat and they always come here. And then we said, okay, one day we want to come with you. And then uh, yesterday my friend called me, said, Tarek, tomorrow we're going uh, 11 o'clock, uh, be at the marina. Okay, why not? Yeah. So we're here, yes. <laughs> and I don't regret being there uh, today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We love this. Um, I mean, we've been out to places like Bird Island and some of the other ones, but Gerada is really the the nicest. Um, It's lovely um, because it gets washed over and and cleaned and it looks beautiful all the time. Plus, it's a little bit further to get to, so not so many boats. Um, It only takes, mind you, it only takes, what, 45 minutes. minutes to get here. Yeah. So lonely in this beautiful water. The water is it is it is it salty? Is it cold? Is it warm? What is it? Beautiful temperature. It's, not, it's, it's yeah. right now. It's perfect. Yeah. It is. It's perfect. Yeah. So nice. Prefer this time of the year than the summer or? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, some people like the warm water, but I'm quite happy with something in between where you don't get. It's not too warm in the water, but the temperature is just cool but refreshing. 
question. Yeah. yeah. Being um, citizens in Bahrain and uh, else than the beaches, of course, and the lovely weather, um, at night, where do you guys uh, like to spend your time, uh, enjoy your evenings? Well, we mainly go to the restaurants. It's sport for choice for restaurants in Bahrain. Absolutely okay. amazing. Um, and uh, some of the five star hotels, we go to Trader Vic's and uh, we can sit Bushido. outside there. Bushido's. Yep. Um, we go to the cinema. Uh, we often wander around the shopping malls um, and to the rugby club. Yeah. There's quite a you know big yeah. expat population down the rugby club and to the Dillman Club, and there's lots of things organised there to enjoy yeah. your evenings. But what, what about you? Do you have a, a uh, special place you like? Same, uh, much the same. I mean, I am quite involved um, again with the rugby club because I coach at the rugby club. I coach kids, uh, and my son plays. So yeah, I've been doing that for the last five years. So it keeps me busy a couple of nights a week. Is he that good? <laughs> I hope so, yeah. He is pretty good. <laughs> He's a Kiwi. <laughs> ah, well, we should go and see him. Um, uh, also than the, the uh, sport and the uh, hobbies that you join time here, you both work here in Bahrain? Yes, um, I was a teacher, but I've um, decided to try something else. So I'm in real estate at the moment. Wow. What about you? Uh, I'm a helicopter engineer.